Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of a faraway land where not every story has a happy ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and weather. I'm Amber. And I'm Charlotte. Our first story. Who was afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing, puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter boy with more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf and his lawyer. Mr Wolf, you've been accused by, with the destruction of houses. What do you think about these accusations? I was doing them a favour. I was showing them how weak the houses were built. They should be thanking me. You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? I'm not big nor bad. I'm just misunderstood. Can't I be sheepish or old sometimes? I'm just expressing myself. So what do you have to say to the good people of the faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? I think they should be scared of me because even if they lock their doors, I can still get in. Um, then what do you have to say about this? They should lock their doors my, and my client won't get charged anyways. Um, uh, well, thank you for your thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Good luck in your trial. I'm back to the studio. Now for the news of kidnapped heroes, <laughs> Hazel and Greta. Their stories captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal and new work. Blackbirds ate our breadcrumbs. The Hazel and Greta story. Our reporter Lockie was at the book release release in the deep dark forest, the scene of the terrible tale. Hello, I am Lockie, and with me are Hansel, I mean, Han Hansel and Gretel, which have been both captured by an evil witch, who is also old, by the way, and, and has somehow managed to escape. So tell me, how did you do it? Uh. Oh, uh, fair enough. I guess you have no answer. Um, you're obviously very rich now, because of all the jewels you found in the house. So while, so how are you meant to uh, find? Um, how are you meant to find an answer to getting rid of all of them? I think we plan to invest in it. Yeah, we're planning to invest the money, make the money work for us, and then hopefully give some of the excess money to charity. Okay then. You have been, you have become very morally obese, but managed to, managed to work it off. How did you do it? Um, it was thanks to The Rock, actually, and his song, uh, The Face Off. It was very motivating, and it really helped me move those pounds. Well, at least that's something that I can agree with. What are you going, what are you, what have you learned from this experience? I think that overcoming trauma is hard, but when you're rich, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and support systems are really important, like everyone who bought our book really supported us. Okay, thank you for your time, you two. Back to you at the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales on their albums of duets, sources are saying that happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter, Zoe. Thanks, Amber, and hello. I'm Zoe here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. And smooches. Oh, hello, and smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story where total opposites fell in love. How's it all going with you two? It's going terrible. He only thinks about himself. I just was my old self. So you're something of a beauty beauty and you're a total beast beast. How do you, how's it all going with you two with that? Horrible, he always stays in his room and he never does any of the cooking. She's always so annoying. Your recent album didn't do so well and your fashion label has gone a bust. What's next for you two lovebirds in the future? 
Well, for me, I'm going solo and introducing my new video game, Beauty's Adventures. I don't intend to do anything in the future. Thank you for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish, I wish you the best for the future. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Zoe. Now it's time for a far away, la far away land weather update with Sarah and Seth. Who will have the fairest weather of them all this week? Well, it will be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy smell spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if, you, if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it'll be fee fi fo freezing. Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending for the working week for the most of us. Back to the news desk. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah and Seth. Finally tonight, long-haired tower dweller Rapunzel is suing the Sleepy Beauty hair salon. Her, her stylist, my bad, her stylist fell asleep with the princess under the hair dryer. The result was a haircut so terrible it threatens to ruin Rapunzel's career and reputation. Here's a reporter, Bailey. Thank you. I'm here outside court after the first day of the lawsuit. Here's Princess Rapunzel and her stylist. How did you react after you saw what had happened to your hair? Horrified. It looks fine. What do you have to say to the owner of the Princess Beauty Salon? I'm going to sue. No, she won't. Do you think your hair can be fixed? No. Yes. Thank you for your time. Back to the studio. That's all for tonight. Although we have just had a word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview, he is, he is hungry, angry and on the run. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good, Good night. night.